Hey, out of shop owners, nothing kills momentum and raises blood pressure like a bad online review and a blank cursor staring back at you. What if replying felt as easy as entering a few details and clicking send? Meet our ChatGPT powered assistant built just for auto repair shops. It cuts your review reply time down by 80% by drafting empathetic on brand responses in seconds. I'm Chris Lawson, founder of Technician Find. And since 2012, I've been helping small businesses handle hundreds of negative reviews. And for the past seven years, I've been doing this for auto repair shops, and I've distilled every best practice and dozens of examples into this single tool. So stick with me, and I'll show you how to keep your reputation spotless, convert critics into customers, and reclaim your schedule from endless typing. So let me share my screen here. But first of all, when I get a shop that says, hey, I just got a negative review, what I always say is get some distance. So you don't want to be replying to a negative review right from the very beginning. When you're hot under the collar and you're pissed off, you don't want to be responding to a negative review. The second thing that you want to do is try to extend an olive branch. So you want to reach out to the customer if possible, if they'll talk to you, if they'll take your calls, and you just want to say, hey, what's it going to take to make this right? The best thing in every case when you get a negative review is to have the review removed. If you can't get the re review removed, then you go to this next step, and I'm going to demo something for you. And there's something that you need to understand whenever you're using AI. AI is a great tool, and it does the work, but there's some things that AI cannot do for you. And there's a great book, and this book is called Buy Back Your Time by Dan Martell. I'll drop a link in the show notes here because it's a phenomenal book. And he tells a story about Andy Warhol and how he was so prolific. At one time, I think Andy Warhol had about 15% of the entire art market was just Andy Warhol's. So he could crank out art like crazy. And the way that he did it was he would be responsible for the initial 10% of any art project. So he would conceive it, he'd create it, he'd come up with the idea. And then 80% in the middle, he would delegate to younger artists, newer artists, people that basically didn't have the clout that he had. They'd do 80% of the project, and then he'd come back for that last 10%, and he'd put his magic touches on it. And that's the way he was able to produce so much content. Well, we're going to do the same thing with AI. We're going to do the same thing with your reviews. So as you can see, I was in the Technician Find community. This is a free community for auto repair shop owners and GMs. And when you come to the community, if you click on Classroom, you can come down to the shop owner's AI toolbox. And then here's the negative review response generator. So you can see there's lots of GPTs that I've created for shops. This one is just one of the lineup. And if you go all the way down to the bottom, you can click on custom GPT link. And it takes you right into ChatGPT. If you haven't done it yet, you should definitely have a paid version of ChatGPT. Just get the $20 a month version, and that's going to give you the horsepower that you need. You can still do this with the free version, but there's a lot of options. And once you get in here and you start playing around with it, you're going to know that there's a lot of uses for it. So I highly recommend you get the paid version. Once you're in the negative review response generator, you can just click here. And... You can use any version. I'm just using O4 Mini. There's lots of different versions. I'm not going to get into what each of the different versions does, but it'll produce results for you, whatever version you use. To craft the most accurate and helpful response, please provide the full text of the negative review, background in your shop, and any owner or technician notes. So we're going to start out, and I have a negative review here. This is an actual negative review for a shop. We're going to copy that. And we're going to come back over here, and then I'm going to paste that in here. And very politely, ChatGPT says, thanks for sharing the review. To craft a thoughtful, accurate response, could you please provide a bit more context? Yes, I sure will. So you can always copy and paste. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to copy the question that it asked. I'm going to paste it in here. So shop information, I have, of course, you would know this off the top of your head. But I've got some details here that I'm going to share with ChatGPT for this specific demo. So I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go back over here. How many years have you been in business? 23 years in business. And we did this above. 
So we answered that above. And then what are your shop specialty core values you like highlighted? So we are going to say this is a general repair shop and their core values are we're committed to transparency, integrity, and helping our clients protect their investment. So general repair, and then we'll give the core values. So you basically, if you have a mission statement, if you have a core value statement, guiding principles, anything that you use, you can put that right in and ChatGPT will use that. And then, great, thanks for the background. To ensure your response speaks directly to the customer's concerns, could you please share a bit more of what happened on this specific job? So the reason why I created this GPT the way I did is it models the way that I used to work with my clients. I used to write negative review responses all the time for my clients, but now I just, I got too busy and I just don't do that anymore. That's one of the reasons why I created this GPT. But when I used to get a phone call or a text message in the shop and say, hey, Chris, we just got a negative review. I'd say, okay, first do the first two things that I told you about, clear your head and extend the olive branch. And after that, just go back through and get me the details of the job. So talk to the, your service advisor, talk to the technician, grab the repair orders, whatever notes that you have, grab that information so that we know what the details are. And you can just take that raw information and you can pop it right in here. So for this example, these are the details that I got. And so it's just basically what was done. So they talk about performing diagnostic checks, replacing the oxygen sensors. And then they made a note about uh, the fact that the diagnostic fee was authorized prior to service and it's part of the process. So they always do a full vehicle health assessment. That's something that's nice that you want, might want to include into your review because that's one of the details that shows, hey, look, this particular customer was not singled out. They did not get a special rate. This is something they do for all their customers because this is the way that they do business. So I'm just going to copy all of this and you can paste it right into ChatGPT. So this is all of the information that is pertinent to this particular job. And ChatGPT says, thank you for taking the time to share your feedback. We truly value every customer's perspective and want to clarify what took place during your visit. When you had arrived, we performed a full vehicle health assessment. This diagnostic fee was approved upfront and gives us a comprehensive picture of your car's condition so you can prioritize repairs by safety, reliability, and budget. During that assessment, we confirmed your two oxygen sensors needed replacement to comply with New Jersey emissions standards and provide the proper inspection documentation. We chose OEM quality sensors for durability and to ensure a proper fit and warranty, hence the difference from the aftermarket pricing. You also asked about windshield wipers. We observed streaking during operation and noted this so you'd be aware of the reduced visibility. Especially in heavy rain, the other items on your report, cabin filter, alignment, cooling change, valve cover gasket, brake fluid flush, transmission service were identified as preventive maintenance and recommendations to help protect your investment and extend your vehicle's life. None were safety critical at the time. With 23 years in business and a 4.8 star average from over 600 reviews, our commitment is to transparency and integrity. If you'd like to review any line items or discuss how to prioritize future service, please contact us directly. Your satisfaction and trust are very important to us. So you would also just want to sign off as the owner or sign off as the GM, and then you'd want to address this to the actual customer. So again, this is that Andy Warhol style that Dan Martell talks about in his book. So the 10% is up here just entering this information. The 80% is ChatGPT structured all of this for you. And now your 10% would be just cleaning up any of the small details. If there's anything that you want to add about the way that you do business or what specifically happened, just a nice signature line where you sign off as the owner and give your phone number to the shop in case they have any additional questions and then also addressing it to the individual, so their first name. So if this guy's name was Bob, you'd say, hi, Bob, you know, thank you for taking the time to share your feedback. So those are the things that are important with these reviews. And the last thing that I'll leave you with is the thing about reviews and responding to negative reviews is it's not really meant 
for whoever wrote the review. You've already reached out to them, hopefully, and you have communicated with them. And either they have wanted to communicate with you and were open to solutions or they weren't, it doesn't matter. When you write a response to a negative review, it's for the thousands of people that are going to see this review and decide on whether or not they're going to visit your shop. You can tell if someone is responding to a review, a negative review, and they do it in a polite manner, and they do it in a professional manner, and they show that they do have systems and processes in place, and that this was not you know, an anomaly, then it helps you to present the best face, to preserve your reputation, and to make sure that your reviews help you. Even if they're negative, they help you and they don't hurt you. So again, this is all free. You can come to the Technician Find community. You can join the community. You can come in. You can take a look. Click down here and you can go in and get your negative review response generator and use it anytime you want as much as you like. Take care.